What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Liquid Crystal walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we managed to uh, go to the Tin Tower, see that we didn't have the Clear Bell, had to go to the Ruins of Elf, got transported back in time to go look for the Clear Bell, and now we're back here. And uh, yeah, well, let's uh, yeah, let's let's let's, let's take care of business right now. So I stocked up on some Great Balls. There's not a lot of Ultra Balls out here just yet. And what we gotta do right here now is that we gotta show the clear bell. So talk to this guy, and the guy's gonna be like, I'm sorry, but nobody's allowed to enter the Tin Tower as Suicune has returned and is very dangerous. Only a, tra only a trainer with a pure heart and carrying the impossible. Could it be? You are the trainer with the clear bell. It, it's a miracle. Please go on through it and calm Suicune. Alrighty, let's do this. It's a very good storyline right now. I'm actually enjoying what's going on right here because they're actually using they they actually use the ruins of Alf just to just for this part right here, which you know like again it's like I'm, I'm very very impressed with this whole thing. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to switch up and battle every single one of these trainers right here. Legend has it that upon the emergence of a trainer who has the ability to touch the souls of Pokemon and Pokemon will become or a Pokemon will come forth to put that trainer to the chest at the Tin Tower. The legend has come true. The legendary Suicune has arrived. We, the Wise Trio, shall test your worthiness to go inside. Alright, so I'm going to speed through this whole thing right here. He's going to come out with some pretty good Pokemon, but I got better Pokemon right here. And he's going to be coming out with a Flareon, so let's go straight with the Surf Attack right there. Look at that. Okay, Smoke Bros level 41, and Goku has been defeated. Alright. Ah, so it, so it is you who claim to have seen Suicune, Entei, and Raikou while they slept. Unbelievable. Legend has it that they can't be seen while they sleep. Oh, damn. This is uh, pretty big. Can you be trusted with the truth? I must uh, ascertain your worthiness. Some big-ass words right here. Ascertain, here we go. Sage Ascertain, coming out with his usual Pokemon Noctowl. Look at that, and uh, here we go again. Ice Punch, come on, go down. He's coming out, he's coming out with a Jolteon, so let's go with Shroom Lee right here. Sky Uppercut, god dang, god dang, come on. This damn Pokemon. There we go, and Thunder Wave, of course, gets us all paralyzed. God damn, all right. There we go. No more Jolteon. Okay, so that would have lasted a little longer than expected. He's like, in the past, there were two nine-tier towers here. The Brass Tower, eh, which was said to awaken the Pokemon, and the Tin Tower, where the Pokemon were, uh, were said to rest. The view from the tops of the towers must have been magnificent. Mag magnificent! At the time, an immense silver-colored Pokemon was said to make it its roost atop the Brass Tower. However... About 150 years ago, a lightning bolt struck one of the towers. It was engulfed in flames that raged for three days. A sudden downpour finally put out the blaze, and that is how the burnt tower came to be. Okay. Very, very good stuff. And here we go, this guy just saying, let me see your power. All right, here we go. Koji wants the battle. They all have Noctowl, so I'm going to go with Ice Bench. Look at that. Low 46, Smoke Gross low 42. He's coming out with the Volt Vaporeon, so let's go with Magneto right here. And let's go with Spark Attack. Come on, Magneto. You can do it. Do it for the bitches. There we go. Okay, alrighty. So that's that right there. Okay, what do you have to say? You! Are you the trainer who is awaited by the legendary Pokemon? I see. We, the Wise Trio, have been given a responsibility to of protecting the legendary Pokemon. We are to allow passage only to those people who possess the power and soul of truth. Please go on and enter the Tin Tower Head. Suicune will put you to the test. Alrighty. So this, this is going to be interesting. I'm going to save the game just in case uh, something crazy happens to me. If I don't, if I don't make it out alive, guys. Avenge my death. That's all I have. Avenge my death. All right. So first and foremost, let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon right here. There's a paralysis heal. That is good for us right there and good. And uh, let's see. 
There's nothing right here. Except for just uh, bushes and everything. Oh, okay, so that... Okay, so that's what, what was covered up right here. Okay, so I remember being around here at one point. And here we have the Tin Tower. The legendary Pokemon is set to roost here. And let's see. Okay, so there's no way out. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to switch out to Magneto because it does have a Thunder Wave right here. So let's go right ahead and see what happens. Oh, damn. They're waiting for us right here. Oh, damn. He is uh, running away. He is also running away. And here comes Suicune. Oh, damn. Let's go. Alright, here we go. Battling up against the legendary Suicune, and it's at level 40. And, uh, oh crud. It is a very strong Pokemon, so we're gonna just throw a Thunder Wave right there, just to make sure that it doesn't uh, get any uh, any funny ideas. And look at that, going with a, a Leer attack. Alright, let's go and uh, weaken this Pokemon right now. Let's spark this guy. And that nearly takes him out, so let's go ahead one more time to the spark and hopefully not make it faint. So here we go. Oh, nearly makes him faint. And I highly doubt that it has a 20 HP just about yet, so let's go right ahead and start throwing freaking Ultra Balls and stuff. Now, what really pisses me off is the fact that there's not enough Ultra Balls yet. I think you can only buy them over at uh, Blackthorn City, so I'm gonna do that. Let's go, come on. In the ball, goddamn. And here comes another Leer attack. Why are you weakening my defense? It won't work. So, here we go, speed button right now. Here we go, damn it. Speed button again. Damn it. Okay, so there goes all three of our uh, Ultra Balls. Let's go with Great Balls. And we're gonna continue on going right here. Here we go. Oh, damn. Here we go, speed button away. So, you say there's a chance. God damn, Suicune, come on, just stay in the goddamn ball! God damn it, alright, here we go. Let's do this again, come on, god damn. Let's go, let's go. See, he's still paralyzed, but he's just, he doesn't want to stay in the goddamn ball. How many balls is it gonna take? God damn. Alright, here we go. Can't move. Suicune, don't be an asshole, just get in the great ball, you asshole, you. Oh, jeez. Even in speed button mode, this guy's still being stubborn as hell. And uh, there goes... Uh, damn. Okay, come on. Come on, Suicune. Don't be a bitch. Yes! Okay. That's how you do it right there, guys. Took like a bunch of Pokeballs, but there it is. We got ourselves a Suicune. This Pokemon races across the land. It is said that north winds will somehow blow whenever it appears. Ain't that interesting? Okay, so I am going to give it a nickname because uh, back in Pokemon Crystal, I was gonna use him on my team until I thought otherwise, and I'm gonna do this because uh, to set a better example. I know, I know, I sound like a, such a dad, but I'm not gonna call it Gaycoon because what the hell? Like seriously, who the fuck calls Pokemon Gaycoon? I'm gonna be calling him Sweet Boom because it literally let. Oh, actually, it literally laid down the boom on me right here. So, Sweet Boom. There we go. Sweet Boom has gone to the uh, PC. And after doing that, the Clear Bell dissolved after the epic battle. Okay. So, after that, they start coming in, and you seems all like awesome. Too awesome, even. I've never even seen a battle like that or that great. That was truly aspiring to see. Suicune was tough, but you were even more incredible, Draven. I hear Suicune's mystic power summons a rainbow-colored Pokemon. Maybe, just maybe, what went on today will cause that Pokemon to appear. I'm going to study the legends more. Thank you for showing me the fa that fantastic battle. Later, Draven. All right. So that was that, and... Okay, so these guys are just gonna be telling me stories. Three nameless Pokemon, it was however, the rainbow color Pokemon, in other words, Hello descended from the sky and gave new life to these three Pokemon. They are Suicune, Entei, and Raikou, that it is what they say. According to the legend, when the souls of Pokemon and humans commune from the heavens that sends Pokemon to rainbow colors, could it mean that the legendary Pokemon are testing us 
humans? Probably, because I just saw Sleek, or I just saw what's his face. So after after all that, it's still kind of raining. I think, yeah, it's still kind of raining, but eventually it's gonna go away. So we're just gonna get the heck out of here and see what happens after this whole thing is done. So let's see, everything is still raining. Everything is raining. Okay, so that is pretty much it for this episode. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at our newest Pokemon right here, Sweet Boom. And if you guys are thinking I'm going to use that on my team, no, I already got a water type on my team. So where the heck are you, Sweet Boom? Oh, there you are. And look at that, Hydra 2 right there. Sweet Boom, the Sweet Coon. Gentle nature, water type Pokemon. It has pressure as it's a PP usage and all that stuff. Special defensemen. And its attacks are pretty much the same as you'll find them in Pokemon Crystal. So there it is. Leer, Bubble Beam, Rain Dance, and Gus. Some very, very good moves right there. So that is pretty much it right there for this episode. I wonder if we are able to go into the next, uh, the next area. Probably. We shall find out. Alright guys, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.